India's ambitious lunar mission, the Chandrayaan-3, is all set to lift off on the 14th of July. If after six weeks, Chandrayaan-3 lands successfully on the moon, India will be only the fourth country to achieve the remarkable feat. So a lot is riding on ISRO. After Chandrayaan-2 ended in failure and tears in 2019, ISRO has ensured that Chandrayaan-3 does not repeat the same mistakes of its predecessor. Chandrayaan-3 will carry advanced scientific instruments to study the moon's surface, mineral composition and lunar exosphere, contributing to the overall understanding of our celestial neighbour. First of all, by that, uh, demonstrating this one, the India has acquired uh, one more uh, the technology of landing in a celestial body. Hmm. We are able to land. That, uh, this technology we have gained, we have acquired. Hmm. This is the big lessons we have. Hmm. So, it, it will have a future uh, perspective of landing, sometimes uh, man landing on the moon, like that, many, many such uh, human presence in space and that it will be giving very good uh, information, the technology it will give, that, that is a one point. Second point is scientific uh, uh, in the measurements, hmm. that is science part. Yes. And uh, by doing this one, even though we are doing the science hmm. about the moon, by observing from the from a particular orbit hmm. and we are doing now by landing we can do the in situ hmm. experiments hmm. the science in situ science yes. that more science we can we will get it by having such type of missions about the moon for uh, for the future generation Chandrayaan 3's success will enhance the country's prestige and standing in the global space community. It demonstrates India's scientific and engineering capabilities, contributing to its soft power on the international stage. With Harish Upadhyay in Bengaluru, Chetan Dhalla for CNN News 18.